Hey everybody, it's Clone O'Clock's 999. Welcome back to more Minecraft 117.1 Home Sweet Home Nether 16. Last episode, we went mining, we got our diamonds, we got our diamond pick, we got our obsidian, we did our things. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, and, um, well, actually, I don't really think we need to, uh, cook our, oops, I made the furnace without meaning to, oh well. Uh, I kept meaning to, uh... Okay, whatever. In this episode, we are going to uh, head into the nether. But, uh, I gotta do something a little bit fancy to uh, be able to do it. And, uh, so I'm gonna take our obsidian, put our flesh in here. We got a lot of it in when we were down there. Um... There's also, uh... Now, fish. Okay, right here. So what I have to do to be able to, uh, oh jeez, the cods. Oh my god, there's a lot of cods up there. Oh my god, get off that. What I have to do is, um, I have to make basically some air pockets. And, um, uh, let's see. Um, one, two, three, four. Oops, no, 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 that's not what I, that's not what I wanted, that's not what I wanted. Unfortunately, if I put obsidian in wrong, it's going to take a long time to- Oh, wait, 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 wait! Oh, man. Oh, well, that's okay, though. Because, um... Okay, so what I have to do is I have to basically fill it in and on the sides with, uh, cobblestone. And then when I mine it, basically the water source block will be gone. And then an air pocket will be made. Let's see. Oh, wait, no! I thought. Alright, now let me try. Yeah, I can see it's sucking us in now. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, actually no, because, uh... I can't really get to it. Oh, jeez. Um... I'm gonna get close enough to where I can still breathe when in there. Had I not put the obsidian in there, this wouldn't take so long. There's actually an achievement you can get in the uh, console edition by uh, uh, by uh, stay uh, staying underwater. I think for like three three full in-game days, and um, I actually got that achievement. It was a uh, it's pretty cool. I I don't want to risk it. see here. Okay, we got the arc pocket. Now, let's mine this. There we go. So we got the obsidian, and now... Now, we put that there, and now we should be able to light the portal. Uh, I don't think we actually made a flint steel yet. Do we have a flint? Have a flint? No. Oh, we did make a, fl a flint steel. Okay. We're also getting a lot of cod because a bunch of them is a bunch of them are spawning up there and they're getting sucked down. And uh, and 
I don't think magma blocks really belong in the overworld. But what they did with them at 1.13 was pretty clever, so I'm generally content with it. Okay. So, let's put these here. And I think... Okay, we got an air pocket. Yep, the water's going down. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh... Is I'm going to open this up, quickly switch to my flint and steel, and light the portal. Yep, there we go. But, uh... Oh, wait, crap, 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 crap. Okay. Yeah, because I thought the water was going to... Oh, man, no, that didn't go the way I... Whoa, um... Didn't go the way I to, and we are in the nether without gold armor. Let's, uh... Go back in, go back in, quick. Oh, jeez. Uh, we're about to get hurt here. I, I, I think it might be an idea if we get rid of those magma blocks. Or actually, no, we, we don't really have to do that. Um, what we can do is um, break these. And so we have a way in. And then we can just cover them up. Oops, sorry about that. I wonder how many of the, uh, how many of, of you I scared by doing that by accident. Went just going to something like, boop, boop. yeah. Okay. All right. So we got our terracotta. Uh, I actually I want to pick up these um these roses because I actually plan on making um a red ceiling and red windows um to match the crimson because like uh this the win the windows and ceiling will be crimson. The, uh, the roof, on the other hand, will be warped. So let's go ahead and grab some roses. Or poppies, excuse me. I I really w wish they would re-add the uh, rose back into the game. I don't see why they put they replaced it with a poppy. I mean, I guess maybe they were, la they were like, oh, well, we're just going to have two, two red flowers in the game. Like, what's the point of having two of them? Aesthetic. That's the point of having two of them. It's like the people... God, it's like, it's like the people in the Albino Moose Games Discord server who, I think at, I think at some point we're planning on adding Monster 1 into Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion HD Renovation Endless Mode, and like, I kept telling them, like, well, you know, well, it can be just for aesthetic, you know, and, uh, you can make it so he can spawn. He can he can only spawn in a room with multiple doors, and after you get through the first book, the first door, he, uh... And he'll spawn in like the center of the room, and they're like, they're like, and they're and they're like, and they're like. Let's see, I don't remember exactly what they said, but and, but they said it's not aesthetic. It's just like I know I meant just adding another useless chaser into the game, and like I'm mean, like, well, you know, it's variety. I mean, like. Every every monster should have a fair shot uh, in there, and they're like, games don't have feelings. I'm just like, why are they? And it's just like, why are they so rude? It's like, I. And and I also said, and they and like whenever I just tried to uh, just get, they just everything they'd say, they'd be like, they're like, I'm not giving helpful advice. Oh sure, argue with the developer. And it's like, I don't know what Sheena's problem is, but. I'm thinking maybe she, I'm thinking maybe she has she has Sheena she Sheena really just seems like one of those developers who just makes a game and just but just is just makes a game and just makes it she just seems to be having fun doing it but that's the impression I'm getting from her but whatever. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head into the nether, we're going to find the place we want to build our house, and um, and me being too lazy to build a boat to get across the water faster, let's go ahead and uh, 
head back over there, deposit some of our stuff, and uh, we'll head in, and then we'll head into the Nether and pick our building spot. That sort of rhymes. All right. Also, cook the uh, cod while we're at it. Actually, um, let me put this other furnace down so we can, uh, cook our iron. What I should do, actually, is build, a build a blast furnace. So I guess we'll do that before we leave. And I'll leave the cod in the furnace for the moment as well. I don't really think we need this much food, so I think I'll just put it in here and, uh, uh so we have a bit more free space in our inventory. Alright, so we want to put on our golden boots because, you know, the piglins just like soak gold so much that they, that they see you as a friend if you're, if you're wear if you're, if you're wearing gold clothes. Let's see if there's any cod down here. Because I know some of the cod were getting sucked down here. I guess they weren't. Okay. All right. I shouldn't go in there without a bow, but you, but sometimes spiders just don't spawn enough. All right. We got everything we want. All right. Here we go. Off to adventure. Wow, I don't think we got a very good spawn point. I think the particles... Let me turn the particles off real quick, just so... Um, man, let me turn the particles off and... Uh, and uh, turn our render distance up. Because it doesn't really look... I don't think we got a very good spawn. Because uh, there's pits and... And... Uh, Stuff that's not healthy for your for a Minecraft player's health. Not the mic, not the person playing the game, but just, but just the Minecraft player species. Because, uh, okay. Wow, this is a terrible spawn. Oh wait, there's a forest right up there, so we can uh, we can get up there. Yeah, if I just looked up, I would have been able to see it. Um. Let's uh let's plug this up. And thankfully a lava flows a lot faster than ever. 
Oh, this only has one durability. Let's save it, Ava and smelt it later so we can get it. Ow! Oh my god! What is your pro You know what? You know what? You don't burn. You don't... You burn, so you can... You can have a nice lava trip. Yeah! Take down your stupid gold. Just mine one freaking gold ore. Alright, this close this glowstone uh, this glowstone is easy, so I say we pick it up. Oh my god, I already hear hoglins. Watch one's gonna come down here and suicide bomb me into the lava. Go into third person, see if I can see it better. Okay, I got an arrow in my foot. In my foot. <laughs> okay. All right, set up here. Watch out for any hoglins that might be up here. And, okay, I think we're going to turn the render distance down a bit, and, um, let's turn the, par the particles back on. Okay. Uh, this is great. So, uh, let's pick up this, uh, crimson wood, because, uh, I want to build the floors out of this. I also want to pick up these uh, shroom lights because uh, I would like to make the. Uh, well, I can't really think of anything else to make it out of, so I, I want to make the uh, enchanting room floor out of it. Uh, oh wait, here we Oh wow, this looks pretty cool. We got this giant tree here, and, or this giant mushroom here, and a uh, lava spout. some more of these. Hold up. Scan the area. Oh. We got a lot of shroom lights up there, too. I wish, you know, I really wish you could turn these nether wart blocks back into nether wart, but there doesn't seem to be a way you can do it. It's kind of crappy because the last world I had for this actually had pretty good seed. I mean, I had I had a terrible time finding diamonds, but uh, uh but um, but I found like, but I I ended up in a soul sand valley that was really flat and had uh, and had um, oh geez, um, I ended up in a soul sand valley that was really uh, flat and I decided to build there, but uh. Yeah, that's just one thing about the about the home sweet home series that does get kind of annoying. It's the fact that you gotta search and search until you find in just the right place. Got some 
Hogman is down there, but I don't have a ranged weapon to fight them with. You know what would be really cool? If we could build our house, like, floating on the low. Oh, there's some striders down there. Um, <laughs> Sorry. As mean it is as mean as it is, I think it would be an idea. No, those hoglins are its guardians. So, uh no. Actually we have a warp we have a warp mushroom here. I know it's mean, but I think that oh I wish I had a saddle. It'd be cool if we could get we could uh get on the strider and cross the lava to find where we want to build our house. But I don't have a fishing rod or a saddle to do so. Why are saddles not craftable? I would have added a craftable saddle spot, but no, Forge just doesn't want to work. Hiccuping a lot. Those, there's no gas, bro. I feel like as of 1.16, the gas spawn rate has been significantly lowered. Or maybe it was just because... Uh, or maybe it was just because... They only spawn in the nether wastes, or hell as it was formerly known as. That might be why. Okay. So you looking to me? Yeah, fight it, fight it. Oh no. Wait. There we go. Why are you attacking me? I was helping you! Freaking... Uh, the fr... Uh, the freaking sweeping of the sword hit it by ax... Hit it by accident and it caused it to... And it caused it to aggro against me even though it could... Freaking... Video game AI! It's like... Yeah, it's like... It's like when I... It's like when I was attacking... Uh, when I was fighting a piglin brew. It was like... There was, it was like coming after me. And I was like... Okay, I swung at it. The other piglin started attacking me too. And it's like... Dude! It's self-defense! Ah, eh, whatever. Let's head back down here. Oh, a zombie piglin spawned. Oh, you be careful in here, buddy. Okay. Got a lot of striders down there. Oh, I, I shouldn't have put, put my wart mushroom away. Eh, yeah, whatever, we don't have any, uh, metals anyway. Okay, so this is what the way we went. Um, let's try going the other way.
Uh, let's barter with the piglins a little bit too. See if we can get anything. I know they can give you blackstone as well. Ooh, crying obsidian, cool. I want to use this to uh, want to use this for a respawn anchor. Yeah, leather's okay. All right, let's do this one more, and then we'll uh, start exploring again. Uh, one thing we'll have to do, um, one thing we'll have to do um, when we, um, if the, if the, uh, one thing we'll have to do when we uh, start building the house is, uh, is this where we started? No, it's a, we'll have to, um, grab the, no, 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 no. One thing I'll have to do is uh, find a way to keep the piglins out of the house, because these piglins are really un... How would you describe them? It's the fact that, it's the fact that if you open a chest, it does not matter what it is, they will come and attack you. Seriously, like, think about this. We're making the storage room, and we're opening chests to put some stuff away. They come in and start slicing you up. What? Like, what are these things' problems? I'm starting to make. I'm starting to think maybe I should. I should just attack them. They're just gonna attack me all willy nilly without, with absolutely no constant, con, uh, no confrontation. Okay. If we just keep searching, we'll probably find a nice place eventually. Maybe we can find a uh, place in the is in the forest that we can kind of just uh, that we can kind of just um, chop down and uh, oh that was weird and uh, just build there. But I don't really want to do it in the forest. I would rather do it in either the Nether Wastes or a Soul Sand Valley. Fortunately, we don't seem to be having. But whatever, all we gotta do is just keep exploring and eventually we'll find the perfect place. Because exploring and discovering new terrain is a lot more entertaining than just than dot than going dying and going through the same places over and over. Which is why I put keep inventory on. don't know if Hawkins are fireproof. I imagine they are, but they might not be, because piglins aren't fireproof for some reason, even though zombie piglins are. You know, kind of makes you wonder why they just decided to create a completely new pig type enemy and, and just just call it a piglin instead of just using, you know, the unused, uh, the unused, the unused regular piglin, pig, the regular pigman mom. I mean, don't get me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy that we finally found non-zombified pigmen, pig or piglets, whatever. After so many years of wondering where this race is, but yeah, I just sometimes I wonder why they designed they, they designed a completely new mob for it. Discord's still going off. Sorry about that. Okay. 
hopefully we'll find uh, hopefully we'll find a place soon. Oh, actually, this area looks pretty good. I have to listen to those annoying hoglins all the time, but this area is pretty flat. Wow! This area is really good. It's a little hard to uh, plan out considering there's uh, considering there's so many trees in the way, but I like this area. But uh, I'll keep I'll keep it into consideration, and I'm going to run like hell from this thing and. Uh, Oh, is this a soul sand valley? I think it might be. Yep, it's a soul sand valley. Actually, a shield really helps against these things. So fighting them actually, in retrospect, isn't that hard. Let's see if I can check this here. Uh, oh no, this is just the nether wastes. But yeah, this is a soul sand valley. Let's check, let's search around this area. If we can get across it, that is. Oh well. Minecraft blocks are meant to be collected, placed, and stacked. Oh wow, that was <laughs> that was pretty no that was pretty gnarly. What? Jeez, where did you come from? Well, on the bright side, with there being a lot of skeletons around here, I have a lot of chances for arrows. But I don't know. I kind of wanted to do that, do the area and that area and the in the crimson forest. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. It'd be pretty cool if we could uh. Build a flo a floating house in house in the lava, but uh it seems a bit too risky. Well, let's head up here. The area's looking pretty good. We wanna go up a little bit we wanna go up a little bit further. I'm actually really surprised the picklins don't attack you for eating pork. Also, 
Are you guys having an issue where your iPhone just keeps telling you to confirm your iPhone password? Because I'm, because I'm having it. It's getting really annoying. I definitely want to pick up the soul scene because I want to make the soul torches. Jeez, Discord. Um. here to stop me. And do I need quartz? Not really. I mean, I guess I'll pick some up just in case. No, quartz is cool and it looks cool. Then, oh geez. <laughs> so far, I'm not that impressed. And then there's also the uh, soul sand that's really annoying to walk over. I think the soul soil isn't so much. The soul soil is something solely that doesn't slow you down when you walk on it. Ugh, excuse me. Oh, there's a magma cube. Oh, it just despawned. Um. Oh, actually, I think we're coming into some nether wastes. I might like this area. Oh, there's an enderman too. Let's, let's go fight it. Oh, we want to be careful fighting it, adding it around these zombie pigmen. Or uh, zombie piglins, excuse me. So, uh, I think I'll just do my classic dig into it. Dig into a wall and fight it that way. And actually, I think I'll put a block here just in case I accidentally hit a big one. You know it's gonna happen. Okay we didn't. But we did not get a pearl. Okay wow there's a lot of zombie piglins around here. Must be having a little party in here. It's like half it's like half half waste half valley. Unfortunately this area is not that flat. So I guess we'll just have to keep searching until we find an area that's relatively flat. Then we also gotta find another fortress as well. What? Okay, magma cube. Yeah, because the little ones can actually hurt you, even though the little slimes can't. Like in this area. Be careful. Can we make this jump? Yes. Yes. Look out, Falcon. I hate the way he's treated. If we don't find an, an a flat area in this in the in this area. Then I think we'll go back to the I think we'll go back to the nether to the crimson port. Wow. Um oh, this area is looking pretty good actually. Let's just check it a little bit more before we before we officially make a decision. Let's turn the render distance up too. Even though it's up quite enough, still can't really see anything. Oh, and there's a, a basalt and a fortress. Wow. Wow, this area actually is pretty good. I'll just hold on. Look out, look out! <laughs> I heard a gat. Oh, wow. I... paused the recording so I could, uh... Paused the recording for a second, but didn't pause the game. And um, 
and uh, that happened. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with this area here. Let's just uh, go a little bit further. Oh, and there's a warp forest here too. This is perfect. Yep, I like this area. I'm officially claiming this land. Let's just figure let's just figure out where we want to build it. You know, the zombie, the piglins will actually run away from zombie piglins, presumably because they think they're going to turn into them if they, and if they don't. But the zombie piglins just seem to care, just seem to not care about the, uh, the regular pig, piglins at all. So I don't know what they're afraid of. The zombie piglins just wander around aimlessly. There it is. It would have been funny if I just looked at it and looked, I just glanced around and looked right into its eyes. Uh, oh, there's two of them. No! Get in the thing! Okay. Oh, come on! Okay, I... Great, I gotta deal with these these idiots now. Now I've got... I've got these freaking neutral mobs against me... After me now, because I accidentally hit them. On the bright side, I'm getting a little bit of gold nuggets. And dude, if you're gonna come at me, you want... Maybe you wanna come up here? Why are there even more? What is going on with the spawn rate in this, in the, in this world? Okay, dude, come here. Can I... Oh, I guess I didn't hit that one. Still pissed at me? We got a pearl. Oh, we got two pearls. Okay, this guy's not pissed at me. Those guys are not pissed at me. Okay. We had a little fiasco there. We just wanted one ender pearl. We got two of them. I'm kind of tempted to just t just throw it and teleport across across the area, but I'm not gonna do that. This log be fun. All right, I know this video is already kind of long, but uh, le let's let's start. And I think I have a plan. I have a floor plan now. Let's see. Um, we're gonna have to clear out some of the elevated area a little bit. Um, so let's start by making the treasure room—not the treasure room, the storage room. Even though I guess we are using treasure chest. Actually, uh, just heard in a video that um, using um, that using uh, barrels is actually more um, is actually more uh, material effective as well as a little bit less laggy than um, oh wow um, than uh, using just box standard the box standard uh, chests are but I don't know 
Get it. Get it. Box standard chests. Sounded like El Resist, El Resista is there. Is that how you pronounce his name? I don't think so. Whatever. Somebody's probably gonna correct me in the comments. All right, we got the floor plans. So now, let's turn the uh, let's turn the uh, crimson stem into a crimson planks. And we'll go ahead and make a. I'll go ahead and put the uh, crafting table here. And um, and let's start by. Uh, okay, we still got. Oh no! Did I put my oak wood away? Guess I did. Oh well, I'll just uh, I'll just use a bit of this and uh, craft that. Oh jeez, I forgot. <sighs> I can see that piglin eyeing me over there. If I open this here, okay, they didn't notice me. So, we gotta make the most of most of putting stuff in here, okay. And... That should be good. Okay guys, um, actually, um, great, we gotta open it again. Um... Okay, so, uh, there's, uh, at least what we got. So, now I think we're gonna stop the video here, and off camera I'm gonna head back to the overworld, and I'm going to bring our stuff here, and in the next episode we'll start on the trash pit, we'll, uh, and we'll build up the walls, and we'll get some of the, some of the, uh, blackstone from the basalt deltas down there. See you guys then. Goodbye.